This free plugin lets TikTok viewers control your keyboard after you get gifts, follows, likes, and more. Before we set this up, a quick warning. If you're going to use this with any game, check the terms of service of the game that you're playing. Especially with multiplayer games, it's often against the rules to have multiple outputs for one input. So just make sure you're following the terms of service on whatever game you're playing. And of course, this should be perfectly fine for single player games. To get started on this, just download the Tickfinity desktop app, which I've linked in the description if you don't have already. Once you've run the installer, you should have a page like this. Just press onto the setup page and then go here where it says login or sign up. And all you're going to have to do is type in your email and it's going to send you a code and you just type the code in. Once you're logged in, make sure you've typed your TikTok username into the username box. And then scroll down to the bottom of the setup page. Make sure the server side connection is unchecked. And now it's time to actually set up the keystroke plugin. So to get this plugin working, click on the actions and events page on the left hand side and we start by clicking create new action. I'll just do what you saw at the very start where I'm just going to press the W key nice and simple. So I'm just going to name the action press W and we now have a ton of options here. We have to scroll down a little bit and what we want is simulate keystrokes. So once you've checked that, click on select keystroke and it's pretty simple. You just type in whatever you want the viewer to do. So for me, it's really simple. I just want to press the W key once. So I've typed in W. As you can see, if you want the other keys, which aren't letters, you just click on whatever you want. We also have these parameters here. These are not useful for if you're doing this for a game. But for example, if you're just letting your viewers send gifts or likes or something to type something onto your screen, then for example, if you copied the username one, you could put username says W. And for example, if you're just messing around in Notepad, you could get it to type into notepad username says and then you know this would be w but whatever you wanted anyway again for a video game for any video game we don't really want those so this is what they would type and now we just press save if you're streaming from a computer using live studio or a stream key we probably want either one or both of these show alert and read text to speech options so we'll set this up super quickly starting with show alert we're going to put on the screen that the viewers activated the w key so by default, it's showing their username. So all I'm going to put, it's going to say username pressed the W key, something like that. And of course, I play around with the color here and the settings in the global overlay settings. But just for speed, let's quickly move on to text to speech where I actually just really have to copy and paste it, but then add in the username parameter and replace the P again. And just quickly, let's press test to hear what it sounds like. Username pressed the W key. That's great. So let's scroll down. I'm going to lower the duration to five seconds. This is not the duration of the keystroke. Rather, this is the duration of the message that shows on the screen showing that they pressed the W key. Anyway, you can leave all these other settings as the default. If you have this warning message here, you have to click onto this link and then add it to Live Studio as a link source or add it to OBS as a browser source. If you're just streaming from your phone, don't worry about that. And regardless, let's all press save. Now, of course, we've got the W key being pressed, but we need to assign it to an event such as a gift, a like, or a follow. So let's do that now. And to do that, we just click create new event and then choose what's going to happen. So I think in most scenarios, you would assign this to a gift. So I'm going to click on sending a specific gift. And because we're just pressing the W key, it's a very simple one for this. I'm just going to assign it to a rose. Of course, we then need to select our W key action. So I'll choose that press W action from the list and I'll now press save. So you probably want to test this, of course. To test it, all we have to do is press the play button here. After clicking this, it's going to give us a five second delay. So we can click on whatever game or any other program that we want to use it on. So I'm just going to test it on Notepad for simplicity. I'm pressing play right now. I'm clicking onto Notepad. And within a few seconds, we should just see the W appear on Notepad. And of course it has. If you're finding that it's not working on whatever game you're trying it on, then give it a go on Notepad like I just did. And if it's still not working on your game after it's working on Notepad, then sadly, the Tickfinity client doesn't support that game yet. So that is the free Tickfinity keystroke plugin. Of course, your imagination is the limit here. Theoretically, if you have Tickfinity Pro, you could map every single TikTok gift to a different key. And your viewers could write you a book, for example. At the end of the day, it's up to you to decide what you do with this. What I just showed you, of course, is Tickfinity. You can watch this guide here to learn more about Tickfinity. 
Thank you to the channel members for their support. Subscribe if you found this useful, and thanks for watching.